Hello, and welcome to Cindy's Corner. Today, boys and girls, if you have the book, Always in Trouble, go get it so you can follow along. My second and third graders, you can test on this book. It's an AR book. And have you ever felt like you were always in trouble? Well, Emma, one of my former students, was never in trouble, but I think she had a dog. Did you, Emma? All right, let's check out Always in Trouble. Is that you? I hope not. Always in Trouble, written, which is the author, by Corrine Demas. And the pictures, the illustrator, is Noah Z. Jones. Emma's dog was always in trouble. On Monday, he got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. On Wednesday, he ate a loaf of bread that Emma's dad had just baked. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he chewed up all of the buttons on Emma's new coat. On Sunday, he snoozed. But on Monday morning, he got into the garbage again. Something has to be done about that dog, said Emma's mother, mom. Maybe he isn't getting enough attention, said Emma. So all day Monday, she gave Toby lots of attention. She took him for walks. Looks like he took her for a walk, didn't it? And brushed his fur and sang him silly songs. But on Tuesday, Toby ate a box of crayons. On Wednesday, he jumped into the basket of clean laundry that Emma's mom had just finished Folding. He was very good on Thursday. He was very good on Friday. But on Saturday, he chewed up a magazine. And on Sunday, he went wading in the muddy brook and then ran across the clean kitchen floor. Something has to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Maybe he needs to go to dog training school, said Emma. What a Great idea, said Emma's mom. There's, be a good dog. Don't eat shoes. Use your indoor voice. The first class started the next day. There were 10 dogs in Toby's class. They were big. Some were big and some were little. Some barked and some yipped and some growled and some whined. Toby was quiet as a goldfish. He behaved perfectly at school every week and he did everything just right. When Emma said sit, he sat. 
When Emma said, come, he came. When Emma said, he, heal, he stood right by her side. He was the best dog, said Mrs. Katz, the teacher, when the class was all over. At graduation, she gave Toby a diploma with a gold seal. Mrs. Kate School for Good Dogs graduation. Emma's mom tacked the diploma low down on the wall, right over Toby's dog dish. Now you know how to behave she said to Toby. But on Monday, Toby got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran out uh, into the road. On Wednesday, he ate the cookies that Emma's dad had just on Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night and woke up, woke everyone up. Quiet. <laughs> On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he dug up the petunias Emma and her mom had just planted. On Sunday, he chewed up his diploma. Something has to be done about this dog, cried Emma's mom. Emma took him back to dog school. There's the training school. He don't want to go in, does he? Mm -mm. Does he sit? Asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he come? Asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he heal? Asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Well then, what's the trouble? Asked Miss Katz. So Emma told her. I see, said Miss Katz. If you want a specially trained dog, you'll have to leave him with me for a week. Okay, said Emma. Emma missed Toby all week. He was very happy to see her when she picked him up. I hope you've learned something this time, said Emma's mom. Please, Toby, Emma whispered to him. You've got to be good now. Toby licked Emma's face. He had a strange twinkle in his eye. On Monday, he took out the garbage. On Tuesday, he baked some bread. On Wednesday, he vacuumed the rug. On Thursday, he folded the laundry. On Friday, he washed the kitchen floor. On Saturday, he planted some petunias. And on Sunday, he snoozed. But no dog can be perfect always, not even Toby. He took off running from her, didn't he? What happened? He ran right out of our book. Got a hole in our book. He ran right out of our book. There he goes. She's chasing a squirrel. Did Toby become good? 
at what they wanted him to do. They didn't tell him he couldn't chase a squirrel. Do you get in trouble when you know you probably shouldn't have done what you did? Mm -hmm. You can think. Tell me something that you've done that you've gotten in trouble that you were like, oh, I just wasn't sure I wasn't supposed to do that. Tell me in your comments. Do you have any troubles? I don't think so. Very smart kids out there. All right. I hope you enjoyed our Toby book and our days of the week. And practice your days of the week. Have a great day. Remember, give Cindy's Corner two thumbs up. Comment and tell your friends to subscribe. Look at his nose. See his nose? It changes colors, doesn't it? Yay! Looks kind of like Rudolph there, doesn't it? Have a great day. Enjoy.